I got to get to Italy. Dude, I am itching. I'm trying to go to uh, Sardinia. Um, I think we're going to go end of June, July. We're, we're planning the Italy trip right now. I'm itching. I realized why I was really getting cuckoo the other day. You know, I told you last week I was tinkering around. I'm touching things. I'm, I'm, I'm on crate and barrel. I'm putting shit in carts. I'm walking away. I'm pussying out. Like I'm just really sitting in a level of, again, unsatisfaction with my own shit, which is stupid. Like, when are we going to get to a point where we can just be happy and sit in the space that we're in and not constantly have to be changing things? There was like an unsettling feeling in my tummy all week. And I realize it's just because I don't know what the next thing is. But I am, I am really working on being okay with just fucking chilling out. Sorry, guys. I have post-nasal drip and it's fucking killing me. You know. But I have been tinkering around. And every time I go to the internet for some sort of design inspo, I just end up on some villa account on Lake Como. And that's what I need. I mean, look, if you can see in the background, if you're watching on the YouTubes, on every single one of my vision boards is a house in Italy. I, I, I'm, look, I'm pointing at one across the office. There's one there. So I have one, two, three, four. They all have Italian houses. That's what I want. I would just really like everybody while you're driving, while you're driving in your Chryslers right now, just to really manifest and send some good energy. That we can do something. We've had a lot of success, but that we can do something to afford a home in Italy. Because that's where mama would thrive. I mean, I had the words on my vision board. The Italian sense of beauty. That's what I want. I just want a villa. You know, when, when shit goes to hell in a handbasket, my ass is going to be somewhere in Tuscany in a villa, eating arancini and a little prosciutto di parma drizzling my body in olive oil, laying in the sun, not getting a burn, because even the sun over there is more pure. I, it just It's where I feel good. It's where I thrive. I took an allergy test a while ago at the ENT, and they said I was allergic to Bermuda grass, Georgia red oak, and, and pollen. Well, I'm in the wrong fucking state for that. I got that good Bermuda grass, all right? I pay my gardener top notch. But I'd love to be in Italy right now. I'm itching. You know, I'm really itching. Here I, hold on, I gotta drink this shitty Americano I'm so pissed about. It's too acidic. You know when you drink an iced coffee and it either tastes like Worcestershire sauce or it tastes like doo-doo. This is a mixture of both. But this place has great breakfast sandwiches, so I'm really torn. I don't know how we started from, let me tell you about my friend's wedding, to I am going to put my children in a Montessori school, to I hate people on the internet, and um, to I'm 5'5", five five and Wikipedia needs to fix it, to I will most likely, you know, build a cul-de-sac for other lesbians when we get older, to here I am, I, I need y'all to start a GoFundMe so I can buy a house in Italy. Here's the thing. If you were to send me money for this said home in Italy, I would let you visit. Or I would at least send you postcards. So I'm just saying. Uh, but I, I've been on uh, Italian, the Italian side of the internet. I'm looking up like secret beach spots in Sardinia. Um, I've called the people from our favorite hotel in the Amalfi and been like, listen, I know it's $5,000 a night, but what do you say we do a deal? <laughs> They're like, no, why? Why would we do a deal with a fat American? Like, this is why I love Italians, because they don't give a fuck. They, I go over there, y'all, I don't get a discount. I don't get a free night stay. No one cares. And it is so pure, and I love it. You know, here in the States, I can do deals. I can stay at nice hotels. I post about it, whatever. That's the nature of the game, all right? It's marketing. Italy needs no marketing. They don't give a shit. The only, the only way I've stayed at 90% of these insane hotels is on credit card points. Shout out to Brian Kelly. Because, you know, I spend all my money on the road while I'm touring. I rack up that Amex. I call Amex and they're like, hey, we can get you. You can stay at this place on your Amex points. So I've already technically spent the money. But right now, I've spent about, you know, all of the Amex points 
So I was tinkering around looking in the garage for some more under, you know, in a cabinet or something. Jeff said, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm looking for Amex points. We got to go to Italy. And like Amalfi right now is so expensive to go to. And I'm like DM in this hotel like, I'll show you my boobs. You know what I mean? I, I was like, I'll shoot content for you. They're like, we're good. A thank you. Yeah, cheapest room is not cheap. So I don't know. Would really appreciate a GoFundMe for my Italian adventure. I'll figure it out. I'll finagle it. Don't you worry. You know what I mean? My middle name is Hustle McMahon. Heather Kyle, Hustle McMahon. But that's why it's so great. Because when I go to Italy, I really soak it in. Because I'm not doing content. I'm not doing nothing. But sitting my fat ass on a gravelly beach in some sort of gorgeous chaise lounge. And if you've ever been to Europe, you know they've got the best sunbeds. All the sunbeds have this little extra little awning that comes over and just perfectly shades your face. That's why the Italians get so dark. I mean, yeah, they got the Mediterranean skin tone, but they have that perfect sunshade because the number one reason why you can't lay in the sun is because your head gets hot. But they got that perfect little sunshade that just sits delicately over your skull and you could lay out there for hours eating fresh calamari, having a little arancini, a little slice of pizza. You may not shit for two weeks, but you feel incredible. And every day I start, I do a glass of white wine at about noon. Then I hit an Aperol spritz. Then we do another white wine before dinner. Then I'm hitting a little shot of espresso after lunch. And then it is red wine and go time all night. And that's where I thrive. <sighs> I feel like I probably could have just called Anne Marie and, and told her all these things <laughs> instead of putting it on a podcast. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to come in here today so opinionated. I have things to say, I, lessons to be learned. And I'm over here begging y'all to pay for my vacation. Wow. Speaking of vacations, um, I would just like to tell everybody, if you are going on a vacation, definitely check if it's a Boeing. And I know there have been plenty of memes on the internet. Oh, is it a Boeing? What I'm really genuinely asking, though, is, is it a Boeing? You know, the second Boeing whistleblower got the, uh, got the axe, and that is Sketchy McGee. And you know I dabble a little bit. With the, oh, hold on, I don't want to say the truths because I don't know if they're truth, but it is a little sus. You don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to realize that the two guys who said that they, that Boeing was being held together with literally some duct tape and a fucking prayer, that they are mysteriously dead. You don't think that's a little sus? I see what you did there. You know what I mean? Okay. Also, just so y'all know, I used to be into conspiracy theories and I kept them very quiet to myself for a long time. And then QAnon came out and I was like, wow, y'all really ruined it for everyone. And now I'm completely on the other side, but now I'm kind of coming back. It's like a weird hamster wheel. You know what I mean? I'm like, send me the videos. Send me the videos. I want to see if the royal family turns into reptiles. Send me the videos. You know, <laughs> like, and people who are like, don't believe a single conspiracy, you're like, all right, you're actually close minded. Well, us Montessori moms, we believe that the royal family might also be reptilian. I'm just saying, if you're not like, if you're not taking a gummy at night and you end up on that side of the algorithm of the internet, then what are you doing? Come on, be silly. Giggle a little bit. Oh my God. When people are like, it's completely out of the realm that anybody is a shapeshifter. I'm like, is it though? Is it though? Mm, okay. I'm just saying, have I ended up on Antarctica TikTok where, like, they compare it to the, you know, the the North Wall on Game of Thrones? And it kind of makes sense. Like, do I think that there's aliens down in Antarctica? Yeah, for sure. We already know that the aliens are about to make a visit. Do I think that they probably put that storyline of the White Walkers in Game of Thrones to, like, you know ease the blow when they show up next week? Yeah. Does it make me giggle? For sure. Am I still going to go to Italy this summer? I am. 
know? <laughs> like I tried to do lazy girl prepping one time and I just, I did Instacart Costco. And Jeff was like, why did a guy just show up with a flatbed truck with like three years worth of dog food and water and peanut butter and like almond flour? Like if the world really, if a nuclear bomb goes off and we have to live in the bunker, I'm apparently staying gluten free because I only got almond flour. You know what I mean? Didn't get pasta. It's like be, we're, we're paleo in this, in the apocalypse. We are doing a paleo apocalypse. <laughs> And I was like, Jeff, I don't know. I was high last night. And then I, you know, ended up on Prepper TikTok. And I realized we don't have a well. We live on the river, but we don't have a well. But it's like, you know what I mean? I believe it for like half an hour. And then I'm like lazy about it. That's the problem. That's the problem. But some of y'all are like, none of those things are real. Well, then you also are not fun. You know, it's fun to sit around at a dinner party and take gummies and to hypothesize on the royal family being lizards. That's fun. Okay. I watched The Crown now with a whole new perspective. Also, I'm kidding. I don't know if they are lizards, but if they are, you know, I saw it coming. <laughs>